How can I protect myself? What can I do to stay healthy? How do I protect myself against those, those who did this? Because they may kill me just by breathing around me. How do I prevent getting sick? How do I actually start to enjoy life? Well, all these questions and more I will be answering in this video that was inspired by a few of my contacts on Facebook reacting to a post I shared. I decided to, to answer these questions because I've been seeing a lot going around and it's sad to see how scared people are, how afraid they are of all those possible hazards. Like, subscribe and share. Hi, my name is Lotsi Mirat and in today's video I would like to answer some questions and tackle some fears, some misconceptions and share my view on our abilities, our abilities of self-healing, our abilities on protecting ourselves from basically anything. And of course there are certain things that are being very popular at this moment and you know exactly what I'm talking about some people getting that and people say that these people who got it are now releasing some proteins or whatever it is but they actually are a danger for the other people um, there are also still people who are afraid of people simply breathing around them <clears throat> and my personal experience is that what we're afraid of we attract so the more you dive into a certain fear the more you will attract that thing on your path and it will completely devour you if you want it to if you're begging it to do so and they say no but i don't want i'm just very scared of it well you're being afraid is giving it power whatever it is and so first of all being scared of something is not going to help you in any possible way it's just going to make you weak it's going to weaken your immune system it's going to drain your energy you'll feel really shitty and if there's something you actually need to do because there's this danger that's suddenly becoming real then you're already so weak that you cannot deal with it because you spent all your energy on being afraid not so smart right so second possibility what can you do well looking at myself I used to get the flu at least once a year, but generally twice a year for most of my 30s. And actually also second half of 20s. Why you may ask? Well, because people were sneezing and coughing around me and because I was living an unhealthy life. I was stressing a lot. So you see, come back, stressing. I was having plenty of fears. Ooh. So those were weakening me. They were weakening my immune system. And so <clears throat> I would spend at least two weeks coughing and sneezing with fever in bed. At a certain moment, I changed my life. I changed things within me which led to certain things changing around me. I was still working in the corporate world, the corporate world being the big, bad, black monster that can cause a lot of issues in our lives if we allow it to. But the interesting thing is that I uh, start to get less, less often sick. And for the past three years now, I haven't been sick at all. Yes, I've had my nose running sometimes, but 
happens. I mean, my nose runs anyway if I go from cold to heat or vice versa. But I'm talking about like really having your nose being stuck for a day, maybe two. And that is when I don't sleep enough and I don't rest enough. So that's always a sign like, ah, I haven't been taking care of myself. But aside from this, I haven't been sick, no flu. And I've been around plenty of people, I would say three years already. So long before the current situation. I was going to networking events, things like that, meeting a lot of people in close spaces where people were coughing and sneezing sometimes. Nothing. Being around people who are really having the flu, nothing. So why? Well, I reduced the amount of stress that I allowed in my life. And even if I still had some stress in my life, because we always have some kind of stress at some point, I was living a healthier life. I was paying attention to what I was eating, drinking enough water. I was having enough physical exercise. I was making sure that I would actually sleep enough. I'm not saying I was doing it perfectly, because I would have periods where I would go to sleep around 3, 4, 5 in the morning, I sleep till noon, and I was just having, let's say, a different time zone activity, which was also connected to me being in touch with a lot of people on the west coast of the US. And these are just a few simple things that I've been doing. I haven't been spending much money on any of these things. Walking is free, eating healthy. It's not expensive. We don't need to go to fancy shops and buy some fancy biological stuff. No. If you can afford it, perfect. But if it's not available or if it's too expensive for you, just make sure you have your vegetables and you eat them raw. So I started eating a lot of raw salads. Maybe we'd add some beans sometimes, which I would buy dried, so without any chemicals inside. I would hydrate them, boil them, and that's how I started eating. And I was going out every day for, for an hour or two, walking in the park, which also has hills, so I was really exercising. Not jogging, not running, not, not biking, no, just walking. Being in the park, as I live in a big city, and I have a nice big park nearby, I was also connecting with nature. I would touch some trees, just stand against one of them, ground, um, spend some time sitting at the water, looking at uh, the ducks or the goose, or listening to the flying birds, or the singing birds, looking at the fish or the turtles in the water, sitting on the grass. And interacting with people who are not poisonous to me. People who wouldn't be asking me like, hey, how are you? And I don't want to hear the real answer. No, people when they ask, how are you? They really want to know how I am. People who would not bullshit me, people who would be honest and truthful to me. And all this together led to me leading a healthier life, led to me having a good, strong immune system. And if I start to fail on certain of these points, my body is showing me that, hey, 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 now you're starting to do something that's not that healthy. And I've been around all kinds of people. And of course, I do not know who in the metro did have this thing or is carrying whatever in his body, is breathing out whatever. I do not know. And I don't care. Yes, I did think about it at first. And I was like, yeah, but this means that we're not safe anywhere. It means that we'll all be poisoned, we'll all be dying soon. Horrible death. Well, if that's the case, then maybe that's what the earth needs for humanity to fuck off. 
so that the other animals and the plants can finally have a nice life. It's also not really the solution because all our nuclear plants will start to fail and then huh, will poison the planet anyway and poison all the other species. So that, that's not that nice. But if we believe in our own strength, we believe in our health, we believe in our power, then we can live healthy, healthy life, interact with healthy people, inspire other people to live a healthy life. And yes, one day we'll die. All of us will die one day. But why not enjoy life till that day? Why not if we die and there is a ceremony, people say, well, he or she enjoyed life no matter what happens, no matter what there was, even during the biggest crises, he was always looking for something positive, something fun to do or see the humor in things. So I really encourage you to take a fresh look at life, your life in particular as well, to see how you can change something. And if you do not know how exactly, if you have questions, just ask me. And remember, asking questions is a smart thing to do. The dumb thing to do is to not ask for help when you need it. Stupid people think they can do everything by themselves because they know everything, they know enough so they can do everything by themselves. Those are the real stupid people. Smart people are those who know that no matter how much they know, there's so much more they don't know. And so they do ask for help. And sometimes asking for help is just having a good conversation. Just to get some feedback. To have a soundboard. So go in here and feel. Oh, and one last thing. I almost forgot to say. One of the things I do when I said I touch trees and stuff. I do ground and I do meditate regularly. That really got me, especially through the last two years, to ground regularly and meditate regularly. That helped me to find more inner peace. And also this I can help you with. I can teach you how to do this in a very simple way. It's not so complicated. You don't need to sit like this and like mm, for hours and sitting in a position that in the end you cannot feel your legs anymore, you cannot feel your ass anymore, and your back is hurting. No, that's not needed. Everything I describe, what I'm doing, you can do without suffering. Because I myself do not like to suffer, so I will not punish myself, my body, or my soul by doing things that are hurtful. I love pleasure, so I make sure all these things that I'm doing actually bring me joy. So if you're inspired, if you want some support, contact me. I can help you with that. But it starts with you. You deciding that you will stop suffering. And you will start enjoying your life. Like, subscribe, and share.